Fab 18, Fab 18, Fab 18. I hope you're doing swell in that domestic well. Your boy HH, he dwells in the CL. Yo! Now, put now. It would, be, it would have been ideal if we had Carlo up in here, but Carlo's at the Merseyside. So, um, instead we have Nilo Catuso, the Bulldog, the Italian Bulldog, who looks like a gangster. Let's keep it real. I don't mean that offense, but Catuso, what's up, baby? You're my guy. Um, it's big time. This is big time. So, look, I'll keep it real. I'll, I'll keep it all the way a Honda. I'll keep it all the way a, a, a Honda here. Um... It's a difference now, 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 play side, but I think maybe Katsusu may slowly be trying to get in the best out of this Napoli side because whenever a new manager comes in, there's, there's going to be a massive changes. Katsusu isn't Angelotti, and it would be wrong for Katsusu to try to be like Angelotti. He's going to be him, you know, he's, and you, you have to be true, true to yourself. And when you, and if you're true to yourself and you're different from the previous manager, it will take time. It will take, 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 take time and you just have to be, be patient. Now, if it takes time and it isn't good results, then you get sacked. But what she must always give a new manager with new ideas is patience. You must always give them time. You cannot rush to judgment. Um, Koulibaly. I think overall he's Napoli's best player. Um, one of the best defenders in the world and a huge, huge asset for Napoli. So if Napoli... Out to go far, Koulibaly is going to have to play like a flipping titan. I mean, um, he's not only a great reader of the game, a supremely intelligent player, athletic, good in the air. There is just an ease that you have, a calmness, a composure that you have whenever Koulibaly is up there. The defensively, so I just think it's going to be huge. It's going to be absolutely massive, massive for Napoli. And a very huge asset. And I think if Koulibaly can bring his A game to Napoli and make that rear guard tough to break down, especially at home, but more so, because you know how good Napoli are at the crib, but if Kukulibali can say what's up away from the crib, I think Napoli can actually go really, really far in this whole thing. Um, Milik. Look, man, um, striker. You must always have a striker. I think Mil I think there is a really good striker in Milik. I remember seeing him for the first time in 2016. And I was like, okay, and even if he missed a whole host of chances, like, okay, okay. He's missing a lot of chances, but I see a really good striker here. I see a really good striker here. And I think um, in Milik, what we're now seeing, because he remember he had that kind of long-term injury, he's slowly now getting back to a groove where he's really now getting those, those, those Gs. A good striker is an asset to have, but not only having a good, a good striker, a tall striker who is a bit mobile, is massive, similar to a Cavani, because in Milik, he can be a, a target man. You can put a cross into him. You can also give him the ball to feet. He, he, so he's not awkward when he has the ball. He can actually do stuff with the ball. So I think having that, I think, is a massive thing to have. And I think for Milik, this is a huge opportunity. Huge opportunity. Because Piantic has sort of gone off the, the boil. So I think all the eyes are on Milik to really hold that striker's position with um, Lewandowski, Kong from the Euros. But again, you just have to put forth that argument because if Piantic says, what's up for Eta Berlin, Milik has to, say, you know, has to say, what's up? And the best way to say what's up is in the biggest competition of all, which is the CL. Lorenzo Insigne, captain of the team, the heart and soul of the side. He's the heart and soul of the side. He's the, he, 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 he's the Naples boy. And they're going to need him. They're going to need... Um, Insigne big time because I think you know um, Insigne is the kind of dude that can produce something out of nothing. He can produce something out of out of nothing. Not only that, he is the creator, he's the playmaker, and he's the clutch maker. He, he scores clutch G's and he makes clutch G's. So, and I always say you always have to look for that superstar, that guy, and Insigne is going to be that dude. You've got to be able to you know, play as a team. Could have set aside. You could be, you know what? Give me the ball. I'm going to take it to the promised land. All right, you know what? Everyone is passing here. I'm going to do something that, that no one else is. Let me just run with the ball. I'm going to beat, some, beat someone, another one. Let me be, be, be brave. Let me do something that is pushing the issue here because I'm trying to win the game because people are looking at me. People are dependent on me. I have a responsibility to be that dude for my team. So I felt that Gatsuso was hard done by um, at Instagram because as we see with Milan right now, team is trash. Team is complete garbage, trash. 
Tim has got to look, look easy. Just listen, listen, listen. Okay, listen, Milan thing. No, I, I Gotoso is a good manager. He's a good manager. He has his ways. He has his views. He wants to work a damn hard. He, there's a good manager there. And I think for Gattuso, I think this is a, a great opportunity for him because he would have never sniffed the seal as a manager with um, AC Milan. This is a great opportunity. So, you know what? Let me see what I can do with these guys. Because if I can actually push these guys forward and go far with Napoli, hey man, sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. And I think if everyone can come together and really listen to what Gattuso wants from them, because remember, Gattuso did really good with Milan based on how trash that team is. He has better players, a better team. And I feel that if he can just try and combine the quality of this team with his own mindset of hard work, winning 50-50s and being thugged at as he was as a player, I think if he can combine those, those things of being silky and being strong, they can say what's up and that can be very, very dangerous. So... Not Napoli with Ancelotti, which I think was a great fit. De Laurentiis, you, you, you screwed up there, but it is what it is. But maybe they can surprise people. And the only way they can surprise people is if everyone can come together and we play at the optimum full of best. Become a Football Hot member and gain access to cool emojis on the live streams and get access to new YouTube content by clicking the join button here. And to view that new content crack, head over to the YouTube channel homepage and click on the community tab over here.